So, um, just wanted to say to the, I don't know where we maxed out, um, what's today? Wednesday. So on Monday, I was goofing around with the live stream stuff again because I have set up my older computer down in the basement. So that way, uh, because I'm off for at least the next three weeks um, due to an accident at work, um, so uh, I figured because some of you guys are down like California or you're out west, so there's a three-hour time difference, um, I'm not planning it like that all the time, so like midnight would be nine o'clock your guys' time. Uh, so I'm not gonna live stream at midnight. Yeah, you never know. But I, I do want to bang out and do some live streams pretty consistently for the next uh, few weeks just to keep my mind going because I'm not one that likes just to sit around and do absolutely nothing. And when it comes to my, my hips, unfortunately, um, when I'm being told that I have to take it easy and just relax, that's that's not in my vocabulary. Uh, I don't know how to relax. Well, I do, and that's going toy hunting and that type of thing, but unfortunately, toy hunting requires walking. And I'm okay for about half an hour to 40 minutes, and then the fatigue starts to set in because, again, with my right hip being only a year old now, it's taking more of the force off of my left side, which is really, really bad. And then unfortunately, that's the side that got injured um, back on Friday. So I just want to keep you guys aware. Um, I just, the last couple of nights or full days, I've had to go and do so many doctor's uh, appointments and physio things and WSIB reports because it was an injury at work. And there's just paperwork on top of paperwork which probably shows why I don't have an office job because I would go nuts if I had to look at this crap all the time. So I think I finally have everything caught up for the time being. I see my surgeon on the 3rd of July and then we'll go from there. So either he's going to say, yeah, you're staying off until we can get your hip replaced or uh, yeah, you can go back to work on modified work duties, which I have a bad, I don't think that's going to happen. So I mean, summer not a bad bad time to be off but when you're limited on how much you can be up and moving around before you feel like you need about a four hour nap for that half an hour that you were up on your feet and then same with sitting I have to use my my old man chair my recliner so I can take the pressure off my hips as well so I just wanted to give you guys an update I like to, I like to be very uh, open and honest with everybody um so I know I said I was going to try, I was going to live stream on Tuesday. I wanted to do it every day this week. I haven't put any reviews up or anything like that in the last few days. It's just, I've been, I've been really tired. So, um, but I want to do one. So before I decided to take a nap, um, I figured why not get one done? And I haven't even really touched on him. And uh, so we're going to, we're going to have a Luke, uh, Luke, we're going to have a Luke at look. So, hold on guys, okay? Everybody, Papa Gord here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, like, I spoiled it. So, here's Luke, not look. Here, look at Luke. But this is the um, archive Luke Skywalker. Uh, I don't have the original, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind having just again I am um, although um, I believe Uncle Mike was telling me really there's not much difference uh, except for again it's more of a face face thing and I wish I had one so I could do a side-by-side -side with but there is somebody locally who has one uh, holy crap man that helmet really stays on there that has one locally for pretty cheap no box or anything um, I just like to just do a comparison with the head if I could uh, but I don't know if I could go, hey, do you mind if I come by and film a video or take some pictures of your other figure? But, um, but yeah, I mean, I've always wanted them. I like Luke. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a pilot. It's a jumpsuit. It's a flight suit. I love the flight suit look. Like, Jaina Solo is one of my ultimate favorite figures, and she doesn't even exist in, in Star Wars. But, uh, you know, he's... I, I, again, I have nothing to base a comparison on 
with him. Um, I figured for sure that out of the four that came out between the Boba Fett, the Boss, the IG-88, so you're banging out three bounty hunters and Luke Skywalker. And I had a feeling that I was thinking either he or IG-88 were probably going to be the peg warmers. But I haven't hardly ever seen... I, I will say, I think Bosk, which is weird. Bosk is the one that I see on the shelves. And I don't see many of them. So again, I don't know if it's just a Let's Shaft Canada. But anytime I ever go, I think I've only ever seen the entire... Four, all four figures one time and that was it any other time like Toys R Us there's maybe I think I've seen him once only figure uh, the Walmart over uh, over here over there where the Walmart is um, Bosk I've seen Bosk twice uh, and that's been it and those are again only major stores that we have around here uh, a lot of the comic book shops or whatever, you know, they have some figures, but it's all, you know, again, it's a lot of anime and manga and, and like, Gundam and, you know, there's not as much. It's more comic booky. Batman, Superman, Marvel figures, Legends, and so on and so forth. So it's, it's a lot more difficult to find this stuff. And like I said, the last two waves, nothing up here at all which for somebody who likes to hunt i hate just it takes the it takes the sport it's not it's not a sport anymore it takes the fun out of it that you just go oh yes yes please amazon thank you there's boop done i mean it's nice for peace of mind that you don't have to stress out looking for the stuff but i i, I miss going and just being like oh my god i can't believe i found that but anyways guys enough about the ramble let's get on with uh, mr skywalker here um so this is just going to be my impression of this figure, again, because I can't base it on anything, uh, like a comparison. But, I mean, I will say, I don't mind the face. People have complained. I've heard some people complain. I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it's not Mark Hamill. None of the Luke Skywalkers are all that fantastic, but this isn't bad. I don't mind this face I'm almost tempted it if I could find another one of these uh, if I can maybe work the head I'd be kind of tempted to see if I could pop the head off of this guy and put him on the Bespin Luke figure because that's like because I don't have Jedi Luke and I have Bespin Bespin Luke that just that kind of fatigue look um, that's like my favorite look for him that and his uh, ceremony uh, smuggler's outfit that he wears right at the end of a new hope that you see him in for like literally 15 seconds i i'm di i dig that so it makes the blue in his eyes pop a lot but he's good i like the flight suit it's how it should look it's it's orange it's white it's got the straps he's got his thing going on around here down on his boot um you know so you got full boot articulation there and just the regular range of motion that we're used to the rocker um, let's see if we can get that strap oh see if it no doesn't really make any difference on that leg because you got that bandolier thing going on uh, so let's try his other so no oh, maybe a little bit more range on this one just because he's got he's not rocking this big thick thing right so so that's okay he's good he's got nice shiny black boots um, no, that's not bad at all yeah he's got some he's got some crunch you know what I'm gonna uh, take this out I'll leave his gun well no we're gonna look at that too so we'll take that out of his hands as well there we go so um, you know he's got wrist articulation I originally kind of thought maybe he might be like one of the other ones where he's got no uh, like it would, I thought maybe from the glove down would twist like uh, like Hoth Luke and uh, Hoth Han, but you know, no, that's surprising. He only gets 90 degrees on his arms. He could, well, no, then again, as much as I always stro keep saying that they could put a longer notch in there to give him a better bend, it blends right into the glove. So on this figure, yeah, that's that's where that's where you're gonna go from there. 
Um, you know, you get a little bit of detail here. I will say it's a, you can see the difference right there. Just in, just in that itty little bit of freaking elbow plastic. Yeah, it's not as bright. But again, it's, he's dirty. I'll just say he's dirty. And I'm okay with that. So, you know, he's got some side to side. He can probably hula hoop pretty good. Some twist. And, you know, he can get, he can really bury his head. And he gets pretty good up as well. Ooh, and Luke's rocking a little waggle. Hey, hey girl, how's it going? So, uh, yeah, and you know, he's got all of his, his breathing apparatus stuff or whatever goes on. So we'll put him down and we'll look at his accessories. So, standard Luke helmet. I dig the helmets, they're, they're really cool. Um, you know, it's kind of got a bit of a dirt wash to it because his helmet was given to him. Like he, you know, he took over his red five so um, it's not like, oh, hey, I'm, I brought my own helmet with me for one day when I knew I was going to fly an X-Wing. So, but it's good. It's nice. It's got the translucent yellow so you, so you can actually see his eyes, uh, the chin strap. You now he's got his little rebellion symbols on there. So, yeah, that looks, that looks good. And it's nice and soft, unlike the Poe Dameron. I wonder if we have that. I might have it here. Got my cup of uh, cup of parts. Yep, here we go. So here, well, helmet comparison. So there's Pose, and again, he's got the translucent. But this thing, like you're not, ugh, you're barely moving it. That's you can chew this like gum. Uh, I'd be worried if you were trying to chew the helmet, you'd probably bust a tooth. So. So I dig, I dig the helmet. That's that's a plus for him for sure. Um, oh no, I just dumped all that stuff on. Oh, well, oh, here we go. So and again, typical Luke little Luke's blaster. So you got the silver at the tip, black through the body, some brown going on on the handle. Um, you know, it's it's it is what it is. And then we're gonna go and look at Luke's lightsaber and uh, if you guys have the original one let me know let me know one do you have both versions and I because I kind of feel um, damn I haven't got another one here because most of my Luke's I have uh, I think oh, no I don't think he I think he's the only one to have posed with the lightsaber no no the other uh, Hoth Luke but oh please say don't break it okay so, I mean, and it's it's nothing that we haven't seen before, right? Uh, I probably have a few. Oh, no, that's his Jedi one. That, that was the accessory that came with um, R2-D2. So, okay. Uh, wow, I'm honestly surprised that I haven't got any of these just laying around because usually everybody seems to come with the, with the Anakin slash Luke lightsaber and I, I swear there is another oh yeah here we go so uh, and I don't even know which ones this one's from <laughs> but if you look even blade color a lot more vibrant I like I like that you know they've infused a little bit more blue into that and well just for curiosity's sake wow even that's a difference too I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see difference in the there that's a lot more soft I find like Mace Windu's lightsaber blade that is thick is all get out so, and I'm not worried so much about that one breaking at all um, so yes yeah, so, I mean I I'm happy that the, the plug seems to be thicker because everybody knows that a lot of these guys like to stage dive when nobody's around and if you happen to have them posed holding their mm, that's tight okay maybe it's the wrong yeah it's the wrong one um, so they snap Uncle Mike had one uh, he had his Obi-Wan his episode uh, three yeah his episode three Obi-Wan is it three? I don't know one of the older ones but he his blade broke so this 
I don't think it's going to be impervious. Like it's, I don't think it'll never break, given the right angle if it falls on. But uh, but that's good. I like that. I mean, the blue is a lot more striking than that. Just looks transparent, and that's very very thin as well. You can, yeah, definitely feel the difference in that. So I'm digging this. So that's okay. That's that's a that's a plus as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, he holds it well enough. He's got his, you know, the trigger finger. One complaint I have a little, ooh. Yeah, is his hands are super stiff. Although the fingers on this side feel a little bit loose now. But, um, but at least I'm not worried about him dropping stuff. Uh, so, yeah, let's get it. Uh, sorry, guys. Well, you know, he rocks it. He's got it going on. So yeah, I'm liking. Him. He's he's good. I'm I'm happy to have him. Uh, I had when my parents went away on vacation down to South Carolina, down to Myrtle Beach for like three months this year. So, of course, I made my mom go toy hunting for me. So she found them all. But Mike also, I think Mike found me the Boba Fett. He sent me Boba Fett, and then surprisingly, we actually got some up here. I didn't think we were going to see them um, as quick as we did up in Canada. But so I bit, I bought Bosk and I bought IG88. So then I had to email my mom and say, uh, I don't need those two, just uh, just the Luke Skywalker now. So I had to wait three months to get him, and I saw him on the shelf. Like I said, I did see him a few times, but I didn't want to have to make my mom go back to to the store and take another figure back so I was like ah you know what I can wait on him and I I dig him I dig him he's definitely a plus I guess we should have done the junk in the trunk but like I said I just I wanted to get a video up for you guys so I, I really missed uh, and kicking myself the last couple of days but I just wasn't feeling well or feeling it so and I'm kind of feeling a little loopy today still too but uh, yeah so he is good I'm happy to have him because like there we go. You know, we've got virtually every representation of Luke Skywalker from the films, except for... Well, we know we're getting Dagobah Luke, which won the fan vote, which I never voted for that. I really wanted to see a wedge, but it sounds like we're getting a wedge. Uh, Lobot would have been like, you know, go check out my top 10 list. Uh, that I put up. It's I don't know if I can add that onto this one or not, but um, check out my top ten of what I thought for uh, for the voting for the Empire Strikes Back. I think I put Wedge at number one, but um, that was my you know my thing of what I kind of was hoping for. But it sounds like we're gonna get nailed with a whole bunch of 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back block series at some point as well. But yeah, I'm digging. He looks good. Um, even if I hated the face sculpt on him, I like the look with him wearing his helmet. So I am more than okay. It's not like the uh, Ian McShane, pilot Ian McShane one, where, yeah, he's at the back of my shelf wearing his helmet so you cannot see his face whatsoever. Luke, like you saw in my 2.0 thing, he sits right up on the top shelf for now, hanging out with uh, General Grievous, probably sharing some some recipes or something like that like oh yeah do you know how fast I can slice a cucumber using my lightsaber and then Grievous is just like oh please little boy I have four you watch me make a salad but anyway so this is gonna be my thing I I dig him I wouldn't say he's my absolute favorite um, and I'm more than happy to finally have this version of Luke in my collection so um, that Dagobah one better just knock me off my feet because I'm I'm not really kind of I don't I don't care for another Luke Skywalker. There's more than enough characters in the Star Wars universe that we don't need to keep going back to the same bloody figures. Um, so maybe maybe I'll if I'm sitting around maybe I'll do like kind of a maybe a top I don't know top ten wish list. Maybe I'll do a wish list uh, over the next day 
and I'll start get, looking for some pictures online and doing some research over the next few days or whatever. So if you guys want to see, um, maybe do 20, do a top 20. No, nah, we'll do a top 10. I'll do uh, a top 10 Black Series figures I hope to see. I haven't really been keeping up on a lot of the Black Series uh, news lately. Um, once I start seeing things from Yak Face or Toy Shiz or even if Mike messages me or some of you guys have been pretty awesome as well and we swap back and forth so um, we know there's more Black Series coming and most of us are going to buy everyone that comes out so that's not like well I better pick and choose some of us do most some of us don't I don't so yeah um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some research while I'm take, trying to take it easy a little bit. So I am working while I'm off. So um, so stay tuned for that one coming up. If I'm feeling okay later tonight, if I get a, a nap in and what have you, um, I will. If I decide to try to do a live stream again tonight, I'll, I'll put the warning up that's got the countdown or whatever. And if you guys have your bell notification, turn the bell on. Uh, so if you have your notifications on you will get an alert to let you know so I'll see if we can break I don't know if 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 I do it tonight see if we can get over 10 I know the weekdays are a lot be, le, kind of crazier for some people depending on your work schedule and what have you so if if I do it and you can make it out the more the merrier um, you know I, like I said earlier put uh, think up some topics we don't always just have to talk about black series or Marvel Legends you want to get into some movie debate um, I do have to talk to Mike about uh, seeing if we can do a collaboration on uh, maybe um, doing a, uh, wow, that has totally, debate. That's the word, debate. Maybe he and I can do a debate on uh, episode eight. I'll see if he's game and see how we can kind of kind of do that with him being down in uh, California and me being up here in Ontario, Southern Ontario. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it. Sorry, my cat sneezed. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks uh, thanks for watching. Um, so comment, share, like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, all the usual YouTube stuff, mumbo jumbo. Um, and we will see you guys possibly tonight, um, if not uh, really soon anyways. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one, eh?